Missions Pulse. Know God's heart, join His mission. My father is a fourth generation Christian. His great grandfather was the uh, a pastor okay. who was one of the first converts of the Scottish Presbyterians I who see. came to southern China. And that great grandfather made a vow to God that whoever is the firstborn in the in his in his descendants, uh, they will be offered for full time Christian ministry. I see. And so I'm the firstborn of the firstborn of the firstborn of the firstborn. You had no and choice so for the fi <laughs> five, five gener as the fifth generation. I w was told at the age of sixteen. My father told me before I was born. I was offered for full-time Christian service wow. already. Wow, that in itself is a huge testimony. Oh, yeah. And uh, the beautiful thing about it is my father came to, from China to the Philippines as part of the greatest revival that China's church ever experienced before, the, uh, before Mao Zedong uh, took over China. And that was the Jan Sung revivals. And he is a product of that. And the zeal and the and the uh, uh, commitment for the Lord, he carried, brought with him as an overseas Chinese worker from China coming to the Philippines to settle down uh, and ultimately get married and, and produce me yes. as the firstborn. And I witnessed how this person uh, was used by God to not just become an, the chief elder of our local church, but more important, he raised me up with David Livingstone mm -hmm. uh, as my sort of role model, uh, getting the stories of missionaries. And whenever new tribes missionaries would come to recruit uh, and raise funds in our church, th these missionaries would first come to our house to eat with us. And then we would all go as children to watch those slides. Uh, so then we are talking about the late 50s and yes, early 60s. Yes, yes. Well, no, some people perpetuated those a lot later. And then even into the 80s and 90s, people were still doing slides. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> and and, and, we were there, I mean, and my, even my childhood dream was to be David Livingstone. Lord, use me uh, to be a missionary doctor to the tribes. Wow, you know, in, that was your prayer. Almost in Africa, vaguely as a child. And so that's my heritage. And then I saw with my own eyes how my father would win one Chinese uh, family home uh, one by one. I would even say that 70% of the families that came and became members of the local church uh, were won one by one by my father. Wow. Now, what, why, what's the secret? I learned that when he was in the Jansung revival, whoever committed themselves to the Lord, even teenagers, and he was about 13, 14, uh, he would, uh, they would be uh, grouped into threes and then sent three by three to any village where they, the Lord leads them to go to and then testify about what God is doing in their lives. And that's how the Jansung revival spread throughout China. We just... Uh, Making using new converts huh? or people who have just been revived to just uh, in teams, small teams, go uh, to villages and, and just share uh, what God has done for them. And, and there were some signs of this, signs and wonders that happened, but more important is this whole uh, mobilization immediately. Yeah. And, and that to me uh, was my heritage while growing up. And I love to read, and so my father saw to it that I read the great lives of uh, both secular as well as heroes, as well as uh, the saints, uh, the heroes of faith, and Sadhu Sundar Singh, uh, and all uh, the stories of uh, Toyohiko Kagawa, one of the greatest uh, Japanese. Uh, so that's part of me yes. and growing up. But then uh, let me quickly jump to where. Uh, it became very truly personal for me is at the age of 12, uh, I started having my own daily devotions and with a commitment every morning at six o'clock, I'd say to it that 
I have it b- before I have my breakfast. Wow. And so that's a, a, a tradition that came from the China uh, house searches. That's true. I've noticed, I mean, there's been many times when I visit, I'm sorry to cut you off, but I know that well. When you wake up to the sound of worship and prayer, but it's not just normal worship and prayer, it's shouting down the heavens and... Well, not that kind well, of... Well, okay, but, but for me, it's but a that silent, daily practice. Uh, type okay. of you know, but, heritage. But, uh, and so, but, but you see, he also added the most important element, which is to practice Deuteronomy chapter 6. Uh, and that's a value that I, I, I plant now in all discipleship programs that we have. And that is, every week, we have two day, two nights a week where we have family devotions mm-hmm. together. So Tuesday nights and Friday nights, we would all sit around together with my grandpa and grandma my, on my mother's side who lives with us. And I, as the eldest, with my younger brother and younger sister, we will all be worshiping, you know, sing a song, uh, lead, uh, share a couple of verses, uh, discuss it a bit, then we would go to prayer together. Hmm. And that, to me, is the family altar concept, I think, of the Presbyterian tradition that came to China uh, and practiced by, by the, those who have been revived, uh, became part of this heritage also that helped strengthen me. Missions Pulse. Know God's heart, join His mission. This podcast is powered by Within Reach Global. Subscribe, watch, and listen on YouTube today. Visit missionspulse.com. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed that video, leave a comment below. Tell me what you thought. Also, you might want to check out this video here. And honestly, that one's not bad either. Make sure you subscribe to Missions Pulse by clicking the subscribe button right here. And also click that little bell button so you get notified every single time we post a new video.